And both women were in court yesterday, sitting on the same wooden bench about three metres from each other. They were looking to avoid eye contact. And the footballer, Wayne Rooney, was sat beside his wife, Colleen Rooney. Jamie Vardy uh, wasn't in court. Uh, the opening submissions came from Rebecca Vardy's barrister, Hugh Tomlinson. He said that she had no choice but to bring this libel case against Colleen Rooney to establish her innocence and vindicate her reputation. He denied that his client had personally leaked Colleen Rooney's personal stories to the Sun newspaper. Now, of course, this all rests on the Wagatha Christie case. This is Colleen Rooney uh, setting up her own sting operation, if you will, uh, to catch the culprit, the account who was selling her personal stories to the Sun newspaper. Now, she says that she had a clue as to who this person could be, so she blocked all accounts from viewing her private Instagram stories bar one account and then in order to smoke out the culprit she posted three fake stories and sure enough those three fake stories found their way into the Sun newspaper. Now Colleen Rooney posted the results of this sting operation on Instagram and on Twitter in very dramatic fashion and that now famous line uh, it's dot 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 ten dots no less Rebecca Vardy's account and that post went Went viral and it made headlines all around the world. Now, Hugh Tomlinson, who is Rebecca Vardy's lawyer, he spoke about the abuse that the Vardy family had received after that post. He said that far from entertaining, this case was profoundly distressing and disturbing for her. Um, opening submissions then came from David Sherborne, who is Colleen Rooney's lawyer. He said that Colleen Rooney has not libeled Rebecca Vardy because what she posted on Instagram was all true. He said that all of the evidence points towards Rebecca Vardy or her agent, Caroline Watts, selling these stories. He then accused Rebecca Vardy of deliberately and calculatingly campaigning to destroy evidence. And he pointed to Caroline Watts, who is the ex-agent of Rebecca Vardy, her phone going missing in the North Sea just a few days before uh, it was asked for by the other side for evidence. And on that phone was very crucial WhatsApp messages between Rebecca Vardy and Caroline Watts, which would have been central to this case. And he also pointed to passwords for the backup account uh, the WhatsApp account going missing as well. He said it was deliberate. Uh, Rebecca Vardy was then sworn in in the witness stand and she was cross-examined by David Sherborne. She was asked if she respected people's privacy. She said she did. The court was then read quotes from a very explicit interview that she gave in 2004 about spending the night with Peter Andre. Now, it's quite early to go into those details uh, this morning, but it is very explicit. And Rebecca Vardy said it wasn't very nice to read, but she was forced to do that article by her ex-husband, and she called the approach mud-slinging by the other side. So we can expect this kind of exchange to continue in cross-examination today.